what's going on everybody welcome to a euro truck 2 simulator uh what are we gonna call this polar plunge i forgot i was trying to think of uh, i actually kind of renamed it uh so we've got a little bit more going on today so hopefully we are going to see some snow so i'm super duper excited about this i actually really 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 like ets so uh, you guys, I know that probably, uh, hopefully the numbers tonight and the stream is going to be really good and intro, you know, get some new people in, uh, invited and get some new, uh, some new guys kind of involved with ETS, a different side of trucking, but nonetheless, uh, just as much fun and just a whole different kind of fun. So, uh, obviously you see our Scania T model here in front of us. This is when we drove the other couple of times. Um, I've got three other trucks here that, um, will give you guys a chat choice. So we'll look at them here. You guys can check them out. But first, let me throw out some shout outs here. All the guys here that are uh, in chat as of now. And uh, hopefully we'll get some, uh, some big old shout outs here to guys that may be joining in later. So what's up, Blue Type? Uh, how are you, Walter? Uh, so kind of you, man, to uh, to stop playing to watch me. So I, I, I wish we could do this stuff together, man. It's uh, Multiplayer is great, but man, it just uh, seems like it's missing it. It's missing something. Uh, what's up, Ryan? How are you, man? Hope you're doing well. Trey Jemison, what is up, uh, Bear, man? What is going on? Yes, I know it wasn't live, but uh, uh, we decided, I, I decided, you know, I'd go ahead and do it tonight. You know, why not? I mean, it's um, usually we go for, a, you know, a ways anyway, so I'll try to uh, keep it keep it as, as action-packed as I can tonight, keep things rolling right along, so... Uh, so what is up to you, man? And what's up, Nick? How are you, man? Hope you're doing well. And who else we got? Brian, Ryan, Matt Lump. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, who else we got? Who else? Greg Allen. What's up, man? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Jerry, a nap. But what is on? Awesome gamer. Uh, I know, man. I was actually waiting on to do a um, do a logo there, uh, trying to get one for the last bit of construction. I didn't want to get something in and then not be able to to get it to you and be like, oh, man, I already got it. So I'll send you what I got. You decide what you want to do and how you want to roll with it uh, and how you want to incorporate it, and I'll let you be the decider of that. So thanks, bud. I've uh, been watching vids. Yeah, the reason what the, yeah, I know, man. Yeah, there's some good crashes, and it's a little aggravating. So, uh, you know, with all that being said, I mean, it's, it, it is what it is. If you're not really worried about trying to keep uh, all the scratches off your truck, then, you know, take off and do it. Europe 2 is actually a pretty fun one. No speed limits, and it's usually always packed. So, uh, and also, just with being packed, man, our sub numbers are packed. So, thank you guys for the 2K last night. That was extremely exciting, and uh, it, it was it was good. It was good. I, I really can't say enough about that. I was uh, extremely pleasantly surprised when all that kind of ran through, and uh, I, I think my daughter was driving. <laughs> the damage is 14%. I'm like, what? All right, so let's go ahead. Let's crack into it. This is big hauls and new cargo. So we've got a lot of new cargo that uh, was featured yesterday's ATS, which is why this one is called Big Hauls and New Cargo, because we actually have brand new cargo in this as well so with that let's look uh let's look job market wise let's see what we can find because right now we're in north poland so if you're just if you're just joining us uh just kind of catching up with us i'm not going to do double trailers tray unless i can roll in some some other stuff because i do have another version of the doubles but pro mods is not yet compatible with the beta for 128 beta for euro truck so that's the only reason i'm not going to do it had it not been for that i'd had to take all those mods out then i would keep it in so but i do have another two another double trailer so we'll definitely check that you can tell me you guys like i said chat choice on uh, what truck we drive today um, but let's take a look at the freight market and let's see what we have leaving in and out. So four pages. Um, now all these trailers right here, uh, I have multiples, so we can strap two of those together on a truck. So that's why they're in there. Whoo, that's nice. There's the, now that's a ridiculously wide trailer. We might have to look at that. That looks really wide. I think I've taken that out in ATS. So there is the Buffalo, uh, that is flipping awesome uh let's see there's a big old huge log truck now we're going to be wanting to try to go north there's the new holland oh seriously the cr 1090 oh man that would be awesome okay wow all right so that is probably what we need to take right there logs uh, is going straight up and that's exactly where we want to go we want to go all the way through these three the eastern part or the uh, actual western part of the old ussr uh let's see what else we got most of these are long take them Big old stuff, man. Look at this. 143,000 pound bulldozer. Holy crap. 
So I might have to look at these trailers. We need to we need to test that out. Maybe we can test that out tonight. Let's do this one. I like the logs. That's good. That's a good size. Although we can check out one of these as well, just to check. Oh, here is a Colossus uh, Quantum 6800. That is awesome. So this is like some serious farm sim stuff. So this is this is legit. We've got some harvesters. Here's the crane at 79,000. Uh, what we got here? Wall panels. This is some cool stuff. The telehandler. Heck yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, well, thank you there, Matt. Just kind of catching up with chat, too, as well. I've got a big trailer pack, so you'll see a bunch of random different names of stuff. That um, There's some cargo. What is this? That's going back. I'm looking for anything going north. A lot of this stuff is going south. And once you finally get up into Finland... We may have to uh, we may have to really be picky about the, the the cargo, and then we may have to do a little bit of bobtailing. She looks naked. All right, let's see. All right, so I think a logs are going to be our best bet because that's where I want to go, uh, and that's got exactly what I need. So we're in uh, Oldston, uh, and if you're just joining us, welcome to the stream. Uh, well, hopefully we'll uh, we'll pack it out today. I love ETS. It's just a different it's a different beast. Uh, but obviously, an American man, the ATS, it just rules the road. Um, no pun intended. Actually, it was a big pun intended. But that is pretty cool. I wish we had to take the uh, the CR 1090 up there. If that, all of our farm sim friends, that would be pretty awesome. So, um, All right, so we'll set that as a destination. Um, what is that? 58,000, so that's actually pretty good. Um, all right, so there we are on here. So here we are in North Poland. So one thing I want to do is let's take a peek. Uh, no, it's not peek. Take a peek at that. Let me show you the trucks I got. You guys be choosing. All right. So garage manager. We got a lot of garages. Purchased a lot of stuff. Here's truck manager. So here's what I got. So if you're looking over here on, uh, uh, is it right here? Where's it? There it is. So I've got the Scania R, which is the pretty much your standard heavy haul stuff, the DB Shanker. This is the one of the new ones that I have, but this is actually off the one of those double trailers. So it's the Mercedes Benz Cat with a uh, with a box trailer attached to the actual frame. So maybe we can do that one later. So that one's that one's kind of actually off the scale. So let's roll. I do have this Scania T, which has got enough uh, horsepower. And I've also got the MAN TGX 2010, which is a brand new one today. And it's got like this huge crane on the back of it. So uh, I can go with one of three. We can go with the Scania T again. And I've got to take it by and uh, get an upgrade on it and get the, uh, the stuff repaired on it. Or we could take the Scania R. Uh, or we could take off in the new MAN uh, TGX 2010 with the big crane on it. I'll let you guys decide uh just put one awesome there bear i'll catch up with chat as well so you guys be thinking uh give me numbers so the mercedes is actually out because of the style of cargo that it is so let's cut that one and the volvo vnl 670 is actually out um because it's in another place and i don't have another garage space here so um this one's on the large and i don't want to blow away the rest of my money upgrading this garage just to hold an extra car so uh the man tgx or the scania t or the scania r you guys let me know so let me catch up uh haul for train yeah i was trying man uh ats they do have trains in here but it just doesn't it doesn't come uh i would say record it blue type i mean obviously if you live stream it then it's going to be recorded but uh you know if you recorded it then you could speed it up and do it like a time lapse of it It'd be kind of cool yeah big stuff man pc specs i7 7700k i uh, got the 1080 ti 11 gig hard drive uh, 500 solid state uh, ssd and then i've got two terabytes um you know performance plans uh, performance fans i think i got six of them um now with the evga 750 and i'm trying to think of what's the other big one the liquid cooled um i can't remember corsair h something uh, but anyway um I, i've got a video down there if you guys want to check that out afterwards uh you can kind of go through there and it's i've got it where i laid it all out so uh scania t is what i've got the man t so i've got two there two for scania walter says six he says go with the man uh how much uh well, that was a nice mayor scania t all right so let me see what we got one two three i would do the mercedes but it's a different style of cargo uh, it's not really going to work so the really bad trailer. <laughs> nice. 
Whatever goes north. That is right, man. Uh, so Scania T, I've got one there, two, three. So, man, so everyone seems to be kind of going, uh, let's go with the man. All right, so the man TGX 2010. Uh, let's make sure that that's, uh, that's cool. I mean, we can do that one. That's not a problem. Um, let's see, where are we? We're in Olston. So there's that one. Uh, yeah, so there was my third. And then the Scania T is right here because I'm driving it. So... Uh, all right, so the man, uh, the man TGX 2010, it is. Hopefully nothing crashes. This is a mod, so we'll uh, we'll see what how it comes in and what it looks like. It's gonna be kind of weird pulling a log truck with that, but it'll be all right. Yes, reassigned to Olston. Yes, that sounds good to me. Let's see if all uh, hangs in there for me. I always get nervous in these parts. <laughs> yes, thank you there, Greg. If you haven't, uh, welcome. Uh, first off, welcome if you're new to the stream. Oh, it looks like it put me all the way back in Paris. That's no good. No no bueno. Um, I don't like when it does that. <sighs> all right, so now I've got to fast travel back to this one. And sometimes this can crash. So if it crashes, we'll load it back up. Yes, I would like to quick travel back to there. If it doesn't and screws me, then come on, baby. All right. That's a good sign. Good sign. All right. <clears throat> nice there. Not just saying. Got ATS today. Very, very cool. Thank you there, Nick. They're all dropping that in to drive them all. We'll see what we can. Hey, what's up, Nona? How are you? Oh, nice, man. Nice, Brian. All right, let's see what this thing looks like. We uh, probably need to. Let me just double check and make sure all this is the same as it is in ATS. Um, it's going to be a little on the quiet side, so we're going to definitely need to, uh, to bump that up. That's a little too quiet. So first thing we need to do is uh, we need to move our seat back because I like to see uh, everything that's going on. We'll do this. We'll lower it down a little bit. That way we can uh, step aside just a little. That way we've still got the... Uh, and there we go. Something like that. That looks good to me. And let's go ahead and bounce out and let's turn the volume up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can still go. I, I think uh, sound pack wise, hopefully this is a, a newer sound pack, so it should sound good. Got a nice sound to it. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so it looks like I have missed, with all of that fast travel, I've missed my uh, my freight. Daggum. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, there it is. There it is. Okay, it's still there. Look at there. We can carry a burger. That's awesome. <laughs> Okay, so basically, you were uh, someone is asking right here. Uh, this empty pallets, this Euro truck, where my mouse is, that is the one that hooks on the back of the cat trailer. So you've basically got two box trailers, and some of those trailers are bigger than those. Some are four axles, some are three. Um, that's that. So yeah, no one saw, saw that uh, convoy tomorrow. Possibly, I don't know. I'll see what I can do. Uh, I'm not just saying there. I. I I don't know, man. Uh, some, I, I'm a little, I'm a little on the skiff sometimes when it comes to multiplayer. Uh, but we'll, we'll eventually at some point here doing it. I've got two of these. I've got this and ATS. I want to definitely get these series done because I've got another ideas that I want to get started with as soon as we can on that. So uh, let's do that. Let me catch up here. Um, signs, warning flags, etc. All of that stuff is all. Uh, it all comes on multiple um, mod packs. I mean, I wish there was a, like a, a definitive, you know, hey, this, this gets you in and out here. Uh, some of them are just extra, um, I'm going to say extra mod packs, but they kind of are. I'm trying to think. The Heavy Haul DLC may have added these for some of these, but this is an actual modded truck, so it's very possible that those warning flags actually came with the uh, the truck itself. So so here we go. Here's the truck. It is a, uh, I think it's the middle lift there. So we've, we've got the, uh, no, it's the tag lift in the back. So. Uh, gives us a little bit extra steerability and there's this massive crane here on the back uh, as well and got the warning flags and our transport there so 
this is a uh, this is a slick truck. So let's uh, let's do this too. We can have uh, front auxiliary on, roof on. So there you go. Very very nice. Hey, what's up, Michael Lee? What's going on, man? All right. One thing I've added in a realistic, uh, I've added the realistic weather mod, and I've also added in a realistic, uh, you'll be able to see it very, very, very clearly. Uh, I've got new air brakes, and you see that right there, a ridiculous amount of cab bounce, which is pretty, um, I've actually been in a few of these uh, over actually in Europe, and they do do that. It's like riding on a big old huge mama jamma pillow. So I'm going to be figuring out too, uh, and it looks like I'm going to need to go. I think I've got 14, so I'm going to go, uh, no, is this going to be, yeah, this might be okay. Sometimes it gets a little bit uh, cranky there uh, when you're trying to deal with uh, getting, um, trying to think of the best way to explain this. Uh, sometimes in ETS, it's like you, uh, you go 20 miles an hour and you could be in the very last gear. Uh, so I'm, I'm hopefully that that's not going to happen, but we'll find out very shortly here. So at least we're right here by the service station. Uh, yeah, you could do that blue type. I, I would, I would, I would, I would gladly support that. Come on now, baby. Getting the right gear. There it goes. I still feel like these uh, these engines engine sounds are still really quiet. Of course, they really are in in, in these in these uh, these style of trucks. Still though, I, oh gosh, I just I can't get enough of ETS, man. I still like it. I still like it. All right, so it looks like I've only got. All right, so I've got 12. So I got the 12 speed. I was trying to figure out whether or not I had uh, multiples or if I just had these. So, all right, so here is our uh, log pickup. There's a Warsaw pole in there. That's what that sign said. Don't really have high and lows here uh, with these particular trucks. Just basically on one through 14. Uh, for some of these, is about the biggest as they have, so um, don't have all those high and lows. Um, now they probably do have some type style of overdrives and whatnot in them, but uh, yeah, turn the volume up a little. I certainly can, man. Let me, uh, y'all, let me know too. I mean, if it needs to go up, man, uh, let me know. Yes, uh, Greg, I have tried to look into that. Uh, to some avail, the only problem was when I looked, I looked right to the um, when I looked to the right there uh, in chat. Uh, you'd, you'd get a little bit of a, you know, you'd see it in there all the time. All right, so I turned that up, so that should uh, that should be a little better on the sound. So if it's too loud uh, and my voice is coming through a little soft, then just holler at me, let me know. <laughs> There's Trey with the obvious. This guy's up. <laughs> All right, trailer's ready. So this is a new, uh, this is a new, oh man, I forgot. These have got the uh, step. I'm actually running all over the, uh, all over the logs here in the thing. A little, a little maybe on the uh, excessive side, you think? Atelia, what is going on? Hello, greetings from Hungary. Oh yeah, man, I like the T800. I wish we could get a, a, a really good functioning T800 in uh, in ATS. Though all the ones I've tried have uh, have really given me some problems. Right, let's see what we got here. I, I don't like the wood. Uh, this is uh, part of the pro mods, and it adds all these wood things. All have uh, they all have. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Gosh, man, I just feel like I'm going blank tonight. They all have collisions on them, so uh, every time you go to do something on them, you feel every single last little bump in the road, and I feel like I'm, I'm running over actual logs. 
Uh, here we are, got our uh, got our logs attached there. So this is part of some of our new cargoes. It's not exactly what I'd consider big cargo, but it is new. Get to the main road here, get to the main road. Hey, what's going on, Ryan? How are you, man? <laughs> yeah, I hope you don't mind chipped teeth. Well, I'm trying to just take it easy getting out of here. And then once we get out of here, we can let it roll. to watch my gears because I'm getting uh, pretty much like it was here in uh, in ATS so seems like it is always raining in here though seriously all the time so we're gonna be uh, if you're just joining us welcome to the stream we uh, we started out in Barcelona Spain with pro mods 2.17 I believe is where we were at and uh, the one thing we were going to try to do is uh, go from Barcelona all the way to the Norway cap. So I'm hoping today we might get lucky enough and get up there quick enough to uh, see a little snow. Uh, we'll see a lot of towns along down the down the way here. Uh, it's really, really great stuff. We've got a load of mods. We've got sound mods, obviously, in here. I've got weather mods in here. Uh, we've got realistic graphics mods in here. That's why the rain looks so good on the windows. The same kind of idea that we were seeing in, um, in ETS. Oops. Go ahead, peeps. I forgot. I was supposed to wait on y'all. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stick it out there and go. Got traffic mods in as well, so be a little bit of a, uh, a change up here. There's one of those uh, steam bowlers. Be a little bit uh, of a change up here just getting used to getting back into driving these roads because it's a lot more challenging and a lot more uh, tight. Um. Yeah, there we go. You played the map of Hungary? No, but I saw it, uh, and I'm going to download it. I'm actually going to also, too, if I'm not sure if this interests anybody in here, but uh, I really want to uh, I want to look at... Let me see. Let me see something here. I'm going to see if I can turn my engine up but turn the environment sounds down because it's storm and all that stuff is uh, sound effect volume. So let's, yeah, let's turn that down a little bit, and let's turn the master up. Let's see what this does. All right. Uh, so I want to do an Italy tour. So I want to go around Italy as well. So that's the map that I saw, and I'm gonna see if it'll work inside of Pro Mods. If it doesn't, we'll play it as standalone. Um, but uh, I like that one a lot. So I, I saw some pictures, saw a little bit of gameplay from a few others. So uh, I will definitely look up the Hungry map, and if uh, if you want to see some of that content coming, I will certainly throw it down because I'm all about. Uh, seeing some new places that I've never seen before uh, and going to uh, play some new maps that I've never played before so that'll be cool and I've also saw that there is a bus map so you can actually drive like the really slick coaches here uh, over on the EU side uh, you can drive those and I thought well that's kind of cool so I tried doing it on ATS but none of them work and that was before the 1.6 so uh, maybe the ETS side maybe it works I don't know thought he was going Nice, Greg. Yeah, what else is up there, Trey? <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up, Commando? How are you, man? Commando is one of the biggest cross-out stars I know. Guy's good at it. <laughs> I'm a little bit jealous. I wish I could turn the engines up really, really, really loud. I guess, you know what? I guess I could. Let, let's do this. I still want the more engines. So let's cut the sound back a little bit more. Uh, let's cut them back maybe to here. And uh, that's rain, thunder. I think the bumps, the uh, all the uh, effects that aren't outside. So, oh yeah, that's already better. Let's do this. There we go. I think that's coming through a little bit louder. I think. Oxygen is up. 
how do you message on YouTube you should be able to go to the about tab uh, on someone's page you can go to the about tab and then uh, click on message or send message something like that and uh, if they allow that then you can send them a message let's get a good look here while we're it's a good look there of our uh, big old logs there we actually got some some decent ones there they have some nice thunder too. Have a nice game, thank you. Blue time smoke. <laughs> Burning your hand off for pain, remember? Yeah, that's probably not a good thing. Yeah, I like the other. The good thing about these modded trucks is they all come with some type of uh, sound, or they come with some type of. Um, add-ons and the, the packs that I've gotten really do add a lot in plus you put that in together with pro mods and it uh, it is a match made in heaven I would love to make it across the uh, if we can I would love to make it across the the water today and at least get into Helsinki which is where our logs are going is Helsinki Finland so hopefully uh, we can hop hop skip there and I know once we get through Helsinki and get on up to the north side I'm pretty sure the snow starts pretty soon thereafter, so, um, and I think as far as I know, it should be actually modeled in without me having to add any kind of mod on Iceland's that way. Uh, so I'll be anxious to see. I have not seen any of it, driven through any of it, so um, it should be it should be nice. Now, Trey, with the question of a favorite trailer to haul in ATS or ETS, I'll say the coolest one I hauled was yesterday when I hauled the train. It was just so unfortunate that um, you know that it did what it did, so. This one's still got some heft to it, but I want to really haul one of those uh, really big ones, like the, um, like the long with like the wind turbine blades, one of those crazy ones, or one of the uh, like the big steam bowlers, like those things are like 140 some thousand pounds. Like I want to get on to those, another one of those again, uh, with the proper you know truck that's got the 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 agility to pull it. And yesterday, I think when I was pulling it with that W900, it just didn't have enough, uh, it didn't have enough juice. There's just nothing else to it. It just didn't have the juice to pull it. Hey, what's up, JP? What's going on, man? Uh, no, I don't. I don't see it, Brian. Uh, not with FS. Uh, there's been a few mods in here. I've seen it when I turn the refresh rate on it. It's a little bit on the slower side uh, depending on um, and then some of that too maybe errors with with some things. It's not always just the graphics themselves um, But uh, but anyway, yeah, I don't really see too much of that All right, so they actually stopped completely for the uh, look because I know these trains come quick oh man I love those sounds they're so immersive especially with headphones on man it's like wow it's like I just went over some legit railroad tracks I am hauling a big old set of logs I'll, uh, once I get around this turn here, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and pop out. We're on the North Poland, so we'll be fixing to hit Lithuania here in just a little bit. Uh, the beautiful part about this trip is we've seen everything. Uh, you'll also see a lot of, of company mods as well. I've got a lot of company trailers, a ton of them in here, so you'll see all kinds of different stuff. We are running Pro Mods 2.17. If you're just joining us, welcome to the, to the live stream. Don't forget to like that video, and don't forget to sub. I think we got us a sub there. Uh, 2021 there so we hit 2k so our next on to our next goal here of 2500 uh, so we've got uh, we're in the man TGX 2010 model which is a mod you can pick this up on the uh, steam but workshop I believe uh, then I've got a few other mods and other random stuff big hauls and cargo so this is brand new cargo at least for me it's not brand new to the game uh, but you don't usually see it a lot in streams and whatnot Think of there is that is that a Chun Shan Yu or uh, you can tell me if I completely killed that 
Uh, I probably did. Thank you for the subscribing there. Ryan Shotgun with FTG here in our uh, latest and greatest of the Polar Plunge here on ETS2. Well, it's all right there, JP. That you've worked hard all week. You deserve it. <laughs> um, there is a mod, uh, Trey. And uh, if you're interested in seeing that, I will uh, download that. And I will put it into our next ETS stream. I mean, our next... Uh, uh, ATS stream and uh, we will carry those back down out of Vancouver uh, we'll carry those back down in the States how about that yes they do make them the man truck's pretty quiet uh, you'll, you'll catch a lot of ambience uh, I've got a nice Scania mod uh, that's got a nice open pipe uh, eight cylinder sound to it so uh, this one you hear a lot of the wheels and I guess the engine being where it's at and tucked in you know all these trucks are ridiculously quiet so What's up, Optic Assassin? How are you, man? So here's what we're holding, guys. We got us a nice, uh, oops. Get a little closer in there. So we got a nice set of logs here. We're, we're coming in. This is part of our new uh, haul series. So this is around 70-some. Uh, I want to say it's around 70-some thousand. Let me see. Uh, we can actually tell you right now. Okay, 40,000. 40,000. So this is on our lighter side of cargo. But it was the only cargo that was going north. So I went ahead and elected to go ahead and, uh, and put it on there and haul it up. Uh, so we've got weather mods. And you can see the clouds and the dark strata sky. Rain looks good on the windows, especially on the sides here. Everything's really nice and blurred out like it really properly should be. So uh, good thing about going from Barcelona. We finished this thaw here. The good thing about going from Barcelona all the way up uh, is it allows you to see the countryside completely all aspects of pro mods 2.17 so you know you may say what are pro mods pro mods basically was a map set developed to go with all of europe so think of the coast to coast mod on crack and then maybe with a i don't know a hit of meth and, and, and then i don't know maybe hit off a joint i don't know it's crazy and then maybe followed up by a shot of jack so uh, it's it's got so much stuff a part of it that it's kind of hard to explain and wrap it all encapsulate how much work has gone into this and these guys do it for nothing it's for free i mean the download costs you like a buck but that's just so you don't get an adware and malware infested download so uh, i mean that's kind of you know in itself is pretty funny uh, but still uh, this is incredible so that's that's what we're doing today that's what we're playing with uh, and we've got all new cargo hauls here so the logs here are especially part of that and we've got some heavy ones, so maybe once we get up here, uh, get across the um, get across the river there in Helsinki, uh, then we can actually look and see if we can find something bigger. So I've seen stuff on here like the New Holland, the CR-1090. I've seen like the JCB loader. So I think someone's going in and taking a lot of the objects out of Farm Sim and just converted those for cargo and made a cargo pack out of it. Even though they didn't label it Farm Sim, uh, it's pretty obvious that's where it all came from. Because I saw the buffalo. The uh, the Ponce Buffalo saw that in there, which I thought that was pretty that was, that was pretty that was pretty awesome. And you'll see like that right there. That was an actual racing lorry. So you'll see these. Uh, you'll see a lot of the the actual. Um, trying to think, I'm actually going to blank here. Uh, you'll see the the AI carrying around a lot of trailers too that have uh, extra stuff on it. Neither they might be trailers that are business trailers from here. That you see different trucks, different companies. Um, I think I've got 2,500 different companies, bus packs, and truck packs for AI to be driving around. So there's never going to be a shortage of seeing new branded stuff off of container ships and, you know, just you name it, uh, it's there. So. Suck at ETS. Yeah, it's fun, dude. That's what I mean. It's a challenge. And that's that ATS is great. Don't get me wrong. I love ATS. The hearing the engines and all the roar, the, the mighty Detroit diesels and the cats. I mean, the straight piped engine we were in yesterday was absolutely fantastic. But there's just something about these roads and driving through the country and all the scenery and all the things that they do to this that just completely make this game uh, very, very, very challenging to drive with. It is extremely challenging to drive if you're not using a, um, a steering wheel, but the steering wheel makes it better, but still nonetheless uh, makes it uh, pretty pretty tough and challenging regardless. So here we are in the Sawalki. There's a train over there on our right side. I 
Now, all these towns and a lot of all these cities, we're not even into our actual uh, DLC areas yet. Uh, but this one is a very good one. So you'll see a lot of these towns and cities are very populated like this, especially when it's not raining. Promods adds in a lot of, uh, I don't know if you want to call it custom, whoops, custom scripting. Uh, that allows uh, like uh, seeing pedestrians walking around. Um, they won't walk around in the rain. Uh, you'll see a lot less load of traffic. And traffic mods that I've got does adjust the traffic for different things as well. So you'll see them, you'll see, really see traffic pop up, especially around the 8 o'clock hour in the cities, as well as around rush time, just like rush hour traffic, just like we did there with ATS. So uh, there come the lights on the city, so we're going to be uh, in the dark here in a minute. All the AI trucks and cars all have uh, all have sounds, so that's pretty cool. Uh, next ATS stream is going to be sometime here. Uh... Oh, nice there, JP. Well, we'll try that one again, bro. I was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, waiting for a chance to turn. I told you traffic will get, get, uh, get backed up, then it flies through. <laughs> yeah, there you go, blue type. It is different color. Same stuff, just a different day. Oh, they're gonna be so nice. Oh, oh, I thought they were gonna let me out. What a jerk. We'll go on. Right, there's another thing. There's a custom bit of cargo as well. I'm not sure what that is yet, but I'm, I'm not sure if it's propane or uh, exactly what we got there. But uh, some of that stuff is extremely heavy, so you've got to have uh, the biggest of the big to uh, pull them things around. Thank you there, Nathan. Yeah, I think you said something like yesterday. Welcome back. This thing actually sounds pretty good when you get it when you get it uh when you get it opened up. It sounds pretty good. I've got a few other things as well. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of spitballing here through my mods that I know I've got. I've got a realistic physics mods in here that's really good. So you'll see the cab really reacting to the road, uh, especially when you get in some of those uh, not really off-road areas, but I guess you could call them off-road areas. Uh, looks like we're possibly coming up here. Shit, well, looks like the uh, the Lithuania. I think that's next. I think that's north of Poland. Got Lithuania, then uh, Latvia and Estonia, maybe not in that particular order. Uh, and then we'll be crossing the bridge there, or crossing the ferry, and hopping the ferry right into Finland. So we will be kind of on the uh, the upper home stretch, or we'll at least be on the stretch that's really, really fun. I know that, I can look at the road and tell it's going to be a lot of fun. So once we get out of here, we can let this roll. We've already knocked off six hours of the trip, so uh, yeah, there we are. Crossing into another border. And christening in our trip with a nice speeding ticket. Thank you very much. We'll be here all week. <laughs> well, I've got a I've got a mod that does up the traffic and makes it a little bit more realistic. The mainly the ma Thank you for that sub run there, Mr. Marco Toka. I think that's how you say your name. Uh, if it is, uh, you don't have to say anything in chat if it is, but I apologize if I did uh, mess that up, but uh, welcome to the stream and welcome and thanks for subbing. Hope you enjoy these streams. I certainly do enjoy creating, uh, especially these driving videos. They have been the new fun for me. I, you know, Farm Sim is great. I love that I did, a, I did, you know, what about 1,400 subscribers off of Farm Sim alone. And now uh, setting, setting pretty, trying to do something a little bit different, and uh, enjoy ETS, trying to branch out, trying to trying to reach more people. So, thanks for that sub, man. Appreciate that. This man truck, man, it gets out of its own way. I'll give it that. I mean, we got forty thousand pounds here, and uh, we get up to speed nicely. How many mods? I've got a lot. Um, I've probably got, oh, uh, probably in total, I've probably got somewhere around 40 in here now. Um, may, maybe give or take some. Maybe not 40. I, I may, maybe 30. 30 to 35. 
Um, so it's not too bad, but you know, get them, get them all worked and get them all staggered and stacked. Uh, I've got a lot of packs in here, which actually create uh, is much better for me. Um, I can't stand putting in single trailers and single skins for certain stuff. Just give me packs of stuff, and I'll throw it in there and let it do its thing and let it be random. It's, it's more fun to me anyway. <laughs> Y'all get off JP's case, man. He's trying. <laughs> You do have an engine brake, uh, more retarders on these trucks, but not really. Uh, you don't have the same wonderful sound. Right. Love it. Love it. Tight, man. Tight roads, tight roads, tight roads. It really, uh, really stretches you out here. Yeah, man, this thing sounds good. Now that I'm actually uh, in it and actually putting it through its paces. Brazil, bienvenidos. Alright, so speed limit's 80, but that sign said 110. I'm not sure if they're capping me on, uh... Not sure if they're capping me on kilometers. Yeah, it is kilometers. I guess that's what that's reading, but that sign said 110, so oh well. Uh, we'll just we'll just try to stay in over here with traffic. Oh, why y'all slamming on the brakes, man? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I hope y'all were hearing all this. Who? <laughs> Seriously. Somewhere, someone's honking the horn behind me. I guess they are. <laughs> oh, wow. Alright, let's see. I want to uh, figure out which one I get off here. Because I don't think I get off the first one. Yeah, we're going to go. Yeah, there we go. Get off on the second one here. So this other thing too is road network. Road networks like crazy. ProMods adds a ton of legit road works, uh, road networks to the actual frame of the of the maps themselves. Uh, you're gonna have to get out and go. Can't be pulling that mess. So yeah. So I mean, you see all this stuff. This is you know this is how it is. I mean, this is legit stuff. Legit road work. All all uh, OSM street map data. I mean, crazy stuff. Crazy good stuff. Now, found out, see, uh, found out never haul coal or wood chips in ETS2. Load is too light and too easy to jackknife. Oh, interesting, man. I would have, I would have never thought that. side of the truck i don't know that i am uh i'm not sure that i am for this type of driving i know i would be for i know it would be for the uk but um there's a quite a bit of uh european driving is all done on the left hand side the uk and there's only one or two places that actually drive on the uh, left side of the road so and i guess they would call that right hand drive so this is uh, left hand drive everywhere that i've ever been austria germany italy uh, Switzerland, uh, this was one, oh, Prague. Every single one of those, every bit of them was, uh, was all left-hand drive, including all the coaches and all the trucks that we saw. So really, I mean, the only one that really is, uh, is the UK. There may be a few others in there that I'm not, uh, I'm not up on all that, but, uh, but yeah. The nice roll. Here. This is this is pretty pretty stuff. Pretty countryside. It would be nice to. There's a nice uh, chrome forge harvester right there sitting in the middle. That was nice. Slick. Patches on the road. 
Uh, what do I use for a Euro Truck Sim? Yes, yeah, so I've got a G29, and uh, we've got the clutch, and we've also got the six-speed shifter, and uh, I am awaiting my new K, uh, SKRS shifter. Uh, just been ordered off of eBay, so uh, it should be coming in. So it's got the high-low switch as well, and it's also got a jake brake thumb, and also got the range split. So it'll be great, and it'll be useful for ATS, and it'll also be useful uh, for ETS as well. So that'll be that'll be nice. Looking forward to that. It's gonna be cool. And uh, some here time soon, we're gonna look at upgrades on the microphone and upgrades on face cam. Because uh, I guess once we get ready to start rolling some eggs plane out here, we're gonna. I've got a nice pedestal bay of some really nice go flight stuff, and we're gonna try to get some cams on that, uh, as well as control cams and maybe even a face cam for me. So we'll see if I if if that might be a little bit overkill on the stream, but um, I don't know. I thought it might be kind of cool to experiment and play around with some of that stuff and see where we come up with. So yeah, it should be fun. Well, what's up, Stacy? How are you? All right, man. Have a good trade. Thanks for stopping in, man. Appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, man, those sounds are just ridiculously crazy. All right, Blue Time, you keep you quit chewing me and doing, man. I'll send you my stuff. I, I tell you, I am. Uh, I'm going to. I was trying to get that last logo ready, so I'll, if you want me to just send you what I have... I'll send you what I have, and I'll let you be the decider, and if you want anything else, just holler at me. I'll try to get something done for you. Whew. Tell you what, makes a big difference there. Oh, come on. That uh, thing's... There we go. Alright, let's see. And looks like we'll be taking the second exit here, Cloverleaf around. Hopping on the A17. Don't know where we're going yet. What city? I love in the rain though. The rain is super, super duper realistic here. Leave it up enough, it'll uh, blur. Oh, sweet. What do we got behind us? Oh, nice. <laughs> I didn't even know that was back there. I was like, where's this green light coming from? What's up, Go Guy? How are you, man? Great to see you, bro. Hope you're doing well. Glad you got to come and hang out with us here for a little bit of our uh, ETS stream. We've been rolling some ETS, I mean ATS there for a while, so I just wanted to uh, change it up tonight. I wanted to get a little bit further because I really think once we get up to the Arctic, man, y'all are going to really enjoy seeing that. It's, uh, I think it's going to be fun. I don't see a lot of many guys really streaming and running a lot of pro mods, so I figured why not, man. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll jump in there and do it. Uh, well, it's just regular headset mic. So, I'll be looking into getting an upgrade on that uh, here soon. exactly where we'd be so if you're just joining us welcome to the live stream first off and uh, if you're curious about what we're doing uh, and curious of why we're not in the polar cap yet uh, we are started out from Barcelona going all the way up north to the top of the Nor Norwegian Peninsula you can read the description on that as well uh, give you an inkling of where we're going and where we're at and uh, how far we got to go uh, but anyway, we're over halfway, at least there, to Finland. So uh, it may basically take us around an hour, so I'm thinking maybe another 15, 20. We should be getting kind of close there if we can let it roll out here, which it looks like we can. I'm going to let it roll anyway. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll get out here as quick as we can, and we're going to go up to uh, Helsinki is our destination. We're taking a load of logs, so we've got a full trailer load here of logs uh, in the back of the, uh, back of the trailer. Yeah, I wish there was a way to speed up uh, speed up time. I'd get out of the dark, but um, it's definitely running some of these realistic graphics mods and all these kind of things. Boy, they really uh, they really do it up nice. I mean, I feel very immersed in a very dark, <laughs> a very dark uh, evening here, stormy evening on the north end of. Uh, I think we're in Lithuania. 
So we stopped there. Uh, our last convoy there took us to the north end of Poland, I think at Olsten. And uh, now we'll be going up to Helsinki, crossing over there, crossing the divide, and uh, hopping a ferry ride, and then coming back on over to the other side. So then from there on, we'll go all the way up the north end there to Kirkenes, uh, and then we'll, from there we'll go up to Long Yerdbin, uh, and that's where we'll uh, make our final destination stop. So hopefully we'll be able to find us some cargo up there. I hope so. If not, we'll bobtail it or we'll pick something and take it up there anyway, regardless if anybody needs it. <laughs> and so there is my, uh, there's my, my sleep sound. So we're going to need to uh, find us another little uh, place to pull over and grab a nap. Bear just took it into a whole different ball game. <laughs> as long as the money's unmarked. What's up, Chuck? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Man, looks like we got... What is this going on up here? Nice. Right, looks like we got us a little construction area here. We got the green light, so... It's nice. It's another thing with Pro Mods. You won't find this in the regular game. I don't think any of this stuff actually changes uh, positions, but you do have a stoplight there, so. Alright, so here's here's a gas station and a nap, so we'll uh, we'll catch that. Oh, great. So we're going to be hitting, I think this is Estonia coming into coming into frame. So we'll, uh, we're actually going to grab it literally right here on the border, so that works out great. We're a little on the heavy side on the strobes. It's okay. All right, let's see what we got. Um, da, 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 da. All right. Not sure exactly where uh, it's going to kick on our. Uh, it's very possible that to drive some more else depending on the see that's gas okay it's kind of weird looks like sleep's gonna be on the other side i think we're okay for gas for right now oh there we go here we go parking we should be able to find us something over here So we'll get a good look there. So there's our uh, there's our logs we're taking in. Now we're in the uh, Man TG uh, TGX 2010. Uh, got the nice warning flags and the uh, the oversized transport there, and the huge uh, crane on the back there. So uh, obviously you probably wouldn't use that for logs, but I mean I couldn't resist. You know, what, what, you drive a truck with a crane on. Of course you're going to do that. So all right, let's uh, let's shut everything down here, and we'll get some rest. Hey, what's up, Jacob? How are you, man? Oh, and here we are back in the bright daylight. So this is a nice. All right, so we'll turn that off. Maybe since we've... Uh, look at that. The rain's still coming down the window. Now, it should go away. It should. So let's, uh, let's continue on. See where our track takes us. We're going to be going right. Let's see where we're at. So first off, and I'll show you if anybody's uh, just coming in. And actually, let me... Let me see if I can do this without it uh, crashing on me. I'm going to redo all my output stuff. So thank you guys. If you sub today, we've had a couple of jump in today. So thank you for that. If you're just joining us here, uh, feel free to subscribe. If you are enjoying the content, we got ETS, ATS, Farm Sim up on the channel, Gold Rush, Machine World 2, uh, and very soon Car Mechanic. Yes, that's right. I said it. So Mr. FTG is going to play a little car mechanic, and we're going to give that a whirl. I've been on the fence about it, but I figured, you know what? We'll give it a whirl and see what it's all about. So that's something we'll be putting here on the on the, uh, on the the channel. All right, so this is... Um, I'm loving this rain effect. This is so nice. My day's been great, Jacob. Thanks for asking, bud. All right. 
right there we are in Latvia very cool so we've uh, we've traversed through the north end of Poland we've brought us into uh, Lithuania went through there now we're in Latvia uh, and then I guess Estonia will be our last stop and then we'll cross the river there across the big divide and be in Helsinki Finland and then we'll kind of branch off from there we'll see what kind of cargo we got we'll see if we want to continue to keep going uh, kind of letting uh, chat choice as long as we're going north I don't care uh, that's the only thing especially if we could grab like a maybe an hour like a short long haul i mean a short long haul a short heavy haul that would be really cool that's something that's on the modded side of the game that would be great so we'll see what uh what we come up with now I, these are so hard i'm still figuring out these things there's something to do with reading the ai's turn signals and they come off of there really really fast so i typically tend to just kind of chill and wait on them to uh to clear out some before i uh before we jump out there. Nice. Look like I've done that a time or two. <laughs> it's the thing. Uh, I love this. I, I go on and on and on about it every single time I do a live stream here with ETS. Uh, it's always just so good to see all this different scenery. Every single place looks different. Um, all the little corridors and all the housing and just the, the little markets and stuff they set up in these. Uh, it's just it's so cool. This, I mean, the river going through, you know, having all of this scenery and the lighting and I, mean, I don't know. It's just it's great. I love it. As if you couldn't tell, I get pretty excited about it. Yep, so now we are in the bright daytime, so this is uh, this is nice. Looks good. Keep going. All right, Jacob, we'll see what we can do, man. We'll see what kind of heavy hauls we get out of there. As long as we uh, can pick something going north, if not, we'll take a rest. And oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Woo. Oh boy, I didn't have to do that that way. Alright, now. So I've seen some cargo, uh, like the CR-1090, I've seen that, I've seen some of the uh, Scorpion King, I've seen that as, as one of the, the mods that we can uh, take on our journeys. Uh, Buffalo Ponce, I've seen that one. And few other things big steamer bullers and huge stuff you'll see a lot of trailers as well coming on here stuff that's uh all the ai stuff that they're driving is all cargo that we can pick up along the way this obi is some kind of a modded in business that uh that's come in so it populates a bunch of these inside of pro mods i think is what that's associated with um so it's really uh it's kind of like um, it's just an extra company i'm not sure if it's a real company or not gas station there total gas station Whoop. uh yeah i'm gonna send it i just can't send it right now man all right now that's where we're going i guess got a few more roundabouts to uh, ring around the rosy here Say some sometimes around here with all this vegetation in here sometimes it just has a problem like trying to refresh and, and keep the refresh rate up on this thing there we go there's that one looks like we got one more and we'll be back on the highway just don't like the trucks yeah well you know and that's uh, and that's one of those things that's the, the Scania T is pretty cool I like it it's the one that I had with the Caterpillar trailer now you can download that do you have the, the Volvo VNL 7 so what is it 670 uh, I could showcase that one a little bit later I just didn't have a garage space to pull it down there in Olsten in, in North Poland 
but uh, but I've got it and it's American styled. Uh, and then I've also uh, I've also got uh, the the 389 Peterbilt. Uh, you can actually have that one as a mod inside the game as well. So there's there's different options to get some of those. The the problem about most of those trucks is that they're just too big. You know, they're just too big for these roads and for the area. Uh, I mean, once you get in there and you start messing with a load that's 100,000 pounds and you can pull it with a, a cab over like this, it's got the, the power and strength to pull it. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I, I like it. I more or less. I mean, I don't. I'm, I don't mind the trucks. I just really love the roads. Love the the, the atmosphere of Euro Truck. More it's, more so. I almost wish you could you could put both of them together. You'd marry the perfect sim. But like the ETS trucks, if you like ETS trucks, but you like the space that ETS gives you, um, it doesn't it doesn't hold the same. Like the trucks don't feel the same. You know, the physics, the game itself was really never intended to mix both trucks from both both sims together. Um, you know, a simple port over that just never was part of the equation. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Eli Corey? Man, how are you? I mean to skip over you there. Yeah, it depends on where you're at. Sometimes there's a little more than than others, but. You know, it's just one of those. Um, it's one of those things where it's 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 put there so they save uh, save gas, keep things moving, and uh, and downs pollution. So, I mean, that's every every one. It, it really does kind of help with the traffic flow, even though you may not like it. <laughs> all right, let's see, I'm gonna be blasting through all this. Good, now it's all getting out of my way. Oh, she's changed her mind. It's a nice John Deere trailer. I don't know if any of y'all saw that. Now, I don't know if John Deere's coming to console. Nice bridge here, going over uh, the interstate here, or the highway, I should say. Very good, very good. All right, so we're about uh, three quarters of the way through the trip here. It's started in Barcelona, going to end somewhere eventually. Our uh, probably five-part series is what I'm thinking. Five-part series is going to wind up leading us all the way back in uh, to uh, the upper part there of... Um, Upper part of the Norwegian Peninsula. That's where we're going. That's gonna be cool to see all that together. It's gonna be nice. And I think we'll do. Um, I will go in and say I went ahead and looked ahead for the ATS stream. So I think from where I'm at right now, we're actually gonna back down to uh, Vancouver and we're gonna bring some of those heavy hauls back down out of the north, out of the mountains. And I've got another uh, surprise as well. We've got two more maps there with ATS that I've managed to get working. Uh, Project West as well as the I is it the I-10 and the US-99 highways there through California are now fully functioning modeled maps. Uh, so I've got both of those running uh, pristinely with Mexico. And I saw uh, on the Mexico map, there is a whole area that we totally just blew past on our hurry to get up to the Canadian border. Uh, so I've set up another profile, got some things going on it. So hopefully the next series is going to be going back to Mexico, but it's more like extreme switchbacks, it's extreme mountainous terrain. I'm excited to go up there and look at it. I just looked at the map, saw the roads, and I was like, you've got to be freaking kidding me. So, uh, I mean, it's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So uh, I know you guys are going to enjoy that. So we'll definitely need to make sure that we uh, pull the horsepower and the torque out on those to pull them heavy ones up the mountain because that, that's going to be a lot of fun. That is going to be a ton of fun. Yeah, if it's an ATS, would be good. I mean, I you know... I wish the uh, the driving physics of, um, of farm sim would get a little bit of an update. That would be nice. Of course, we got a lot to hope for with this uh, this update if uh, Giants does the right thing. I know if any of you guys are following them on Twitter or Facebook, um, I know sometimes they do post some videos. They're actually at Farm Sim Con right now, I think. Um, so all the farming games and stuff always have conventions and get together and whatnot. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they're on that right now. So. You might be able to catch some vids or any of that stuff. If I see anything, I'll share uh, what I do see, but uh, most of it's been pretty quiet. So I'll be anxious to see kind of what they do with the sugar cane as well as the new map there in South America. And I'll be just anxious to see how much more playability they bring out, what kind of mods, what kind of farm seed seeders and what kind of harvesters for the sugar. I mean, I know all that stuff's got to be a little bit different. Uh, so hopefully all that stuff's going to be really, really top-notch. I'm sure it'll look good. I'm sure it'll 
react well, but um, hopefully it's a really nice pack. Good pack of stuff. I know when they brought out 15 and Soznovka and the Homer pack and all that stuff kind of came out. Uh, it was really, it was really well done. So. All right, let's get a little white card. Wow. Only thing I don't like, sometimes those cars get over there and they just stop. I don't know why. It's, all right, here we are. We are now fixing to enter. It was the nice, uh, I think that was the way station, but I didn't have to stop in, so that's great. I don't know why I didn't. But I'll take it. So here we are. <clears throat> Estonia. Now. Very cool. And see, all of a sudden, Estonia looks different than Latvia. And I love that. I love that. Hi, FTG. What's up? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for your sub there. 2024 here of 2,500. We hit 2K last night, so thank you guys for uh, the big 2K. That was a, a big mark, a big landmark for me just in the YouTube career. So thank you guys for that crazy old support there. Uh, just, I didn't really say it in the beginning, but if you guys want to, I've got PayPal, Streamlabs, all that stuff's all set up down there. Click a link, and you can uh, throw a little money there uh, to help out. Uh, bringing all these games and purchasing all this stuff and you know just continually keep uh, keep putting best foot forward here when it comes to streams and uh, putting all the graphics and all the good stuff together uh, as well um, so I've got that as well super chats if you want to throw something up throw a special message up there for everybody see so go ahead and hit that uh, little dollar sign down there with a the square around it and that'll uh, basically prompt you through the rest of it. it's pretty simple but as always none of that's required it is uh, just optional so uh, but it is much appreciated when you guys do that. So, thank you. No problem there, Greg. Greg had more to win. <laughs> What's going on, Stacy? Loving the air brake sound on this. is incredible. Uh-oh. Oh. Thought it was gone. I'm not sure what that beep is. Surely I'm not have to rest again. I think, too, I may wind up taking this. Thank you there for riding shotgun here with FTG tonight. Thank you there. Is that Eric Spiker? Thank you there, pal. Appreciate that. Uh, and uh, I think I'm going to have to take the realistic traffic mod out because I'm noticing. Uh, oh, there goes the coon uh, animal feeder there. You guys may want to see that. <laughs> That's good stuff there. Um, inside the cab, for whatever reason, I get a lot of, uh, you know, I go to the outside of the cab and, and things are fine, at least with the traffic mod, but it seems like I get really jittery inside the cabs, which is odd. So I might take that out and see uh, see what happens and see if it behaves any better without that mod in, so I don't know. Alright, sounds good, Greg, man. Thanks for stopping in and hanging out with us for a bit. We'll see you here on the next one. Appreciate that, Greg. It means a lot, man. I always thank you guys coming in and supporting me and coming in, throwing up, uh, you know, throwing up time, man, spending time with me, helping mod all that stuff, especially all those mods out today, guys. You are the best, best mods in the game. Well, second best mods in the game. <laughs> Y'all were tied. I can't say second best because that's completely rude. Get a little uh, get a little busier here. So what? It's 3:16 in the afternoon. It's chumming down here in Estonia. 
Now, this is this right here, man. The road network is what I'm talking about. This is this is incredible stuff. And then somehow or another, you just wind up being way out here. It's a nice little road roller over there. You can see it. Uh, this person, yep. And there's the same uh, same log load there that we're taking in. So, so if he's in a DAF. Hi, FTG2. Well, you don't have to keep spamming accounts. I appreciate it, but you don't have to spam accounts because they'll just take those subs away when you don't log log back into them. What's up, Mr. Double A, Mr. Ant Head? Ant, how are you, man? What I'm working on? Running red lights. <laughs> Not too much, man. Uh, the little ones kept me busy. So between uh, streaming here at night, trying to make sure she's in bed and taking care of just things and various stuff during the day, prepping for you know everything I got going on. That's uh, uh, that's pretty much what I've been working on. To be honest with you. <laughs> yep, I am going to need gas. Good thing about most of these places down here, there's uh, especially once you get up this way in the north and north end, there's a lot of stuff down here. It's nice countryside, but a lot of nice little cool places to pull off and, and uh, grab an app, grab some uh, some gas from diesel if you need to. Greetings from Finland. Awesome. Well, we're headed your way, Eric Spiker. We are going to be uh, landing here in Helsinki and going all the way to uh, Longyearbyen. Uh, so that's going to be exciting. I've been looking forward to this ever since I decided we could uh, we could go all the way up there with ProMod. So uh, greetings from North Carolina and the United States. Uh, Y'all should never feel bad, Bear. I understand stuff got stuff goes on and things happen, man. Don't ever feel bad for uh, for missing something or not being here when you think you should. I appreciate the gesture. That's kind, but but really, it's quite okay. Because a nice uh, smart tracks there on a nice T8. That's a nice uh, nice load there. So you'll see a lot of these uh, AIs they're bringing around here. They've got uh, loads and stuff you will not see here on the regular game, uh, at least the vanilla game. So it's on, you'll see all that now. All that stuff is towable by yourself. So if you see anything being pulled by these guys, uh, you have a chance to pull the same stuff. A little more random, but uh, but you still get to do it. Harvesters, tractors. I'm a farm sim bud. It's a nice dude sitting out there in the middle of the field. All right. It's good. Now I've really let it roll now. So this uh, really knocked the knocked the time off. Anytime you're going through cities, always uh, set almost set a cruise control here. Nice little uh, sawmill there. That's probably where we're going in uh, Helsinki. And here's our load, what we're carrying today. Nice train station over there as well. That's pretty slick. So we are in the uh, we're in the Man TGX uh, 2010 edition model. We're in the heavy haul of it. Uh, with the uh, big old crane here and uh, 40,000 pound load of tree logs so not exactly a heavy haul but it is a new haul so that's the uh, um, that's the, the newest uh, I guess some of the newest trailer packs some of the new stuff in there it's not real like I said it's not heavy but it is new so it's, it's definitely cool I think all this stuff adds a little bit of something else to the game uh, heavy hauls are good but man they get boring after a while um, especially if you don't have the truck to really pull them as we found out in ATS the other night so I won't be making that mistake again but I wouldn't mind finding some of those 70 to 80 thousand pound really cool ones like uh, the sailboats towing sailboats towing yachts um, all those kind of things like that I would love to find a few of those here on the ETS side as well because that would be a, a super duper extra challenge so we'll uh, see what we get here in the next the next town Oh yeah, thanks for. Well, we got a little over a quarter of a tank, so we're uh, pretty good for right now. Uh, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll uh, heed your advice here. We'll, we'll uh, grab some here on the next one. I 
love it. See, here we are in another city that looks totally different. Those air brake sounds are ridiculous. Love them. left so that show one tight that no oof, tuck tight there that would not take us very long at all to get uh, all the way down there so Kexland Center is where we're at now uh, so we should be on the north end of Estonia once we get up here then the next little bit here we'll uh, pull up a map see how far we've come see how far we got to go we should be more than uh, more than halfway there total round trip uh, we took us a while to get through a few of the other ones there as well, which is kind of, you know, it's, it's to be expected. I'm loving all the bouncing around here. It's good stuff. Hey, what's up, Trey? Welcome back. Uh, ETS. Oh. I'm not sure what you mean by that blue type. The uh, ETS isn't bringing in the new halls. You mean the new double trailers? Well, they're in the beta. Very, very nice city here. This is this is cool stuff. I enjoy seeing all these because everything's different. You know, they don't have a lot of. Uh, most of these cities are actually have a, their own little road network. Now, I don't know how legit the road network is. Uh, it might not be quite as uh, realistic as I think it is, but uh, but anyway, it sure does look good. And that was the wrong thing to do, man. Your mama ever teach you do not park on the the transit tracks? What the heck, man? What an idiot. Uh, you got the Scandinavia? Yep. Well, I've got the scan. Oh, you know what? You're right, Walter. That's right. So, I remember that. So, um, the one thing when I got and downloaded the beta said that the Scandinavia DLC for the... Because you need all three DLCs to run Pro Mods. So, you need Going East, uh, Viva La France, and you also... What the heck? Are you serious? Who turns left in front of a... Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> so anyway, so you have to have all three DLCs in there. Um, so uh, that was one of those things. I was glad I had that, but I would have purchased it anyway. Scandinavia is great. Uh, but yeah, I did hear that because when I saw on there, it actually said that Scandinavia uh, for Pro Mods uh, was actually uh, was going away. So I guess it superseded it and drew out a new bunch of new stuff, and I couldn't use any of my Pro Mods to do the new tractors or the new trailers. So that's why I don't have doubles in the day. I've got a mod that allows me to have doubles, but um, I even took that out just because the physics of it aren't right. Uh, even though the mod is good itself, it looks great, but the, the weight ratios of pulling the, the double trailers just wasn't right. Um, so typically, if you got on a, uh, if, if you got on there, uh, especially going down a hill, if you got on there going down a hill, this thing would uh, take off, and sometimes those trailers would jackknife on you because um, you, know, you just had too much weight behind them. And two, the original game itself wasn't really ever, uh, was never rung up to have that, so... Is that Audi Putra 90? What's up, man? How are you? I hope you're doing well. Oh my god. Seriously? Oh. I don't understand why uh, drivers are kamikaze in themselves. I don't understand that. They shouldn't be doing that. I mean, I'm in a I'm in a go straight lane. I don't understand why they're turning in front of me. Uh, one more like that, it's going to put me in a repair shop. <laughs> the AI suicide. I do have uh, wreck damage, man. That was 14% on that. So, <clears throat> Yeah, well, I mean, I've got 40,000 pounds, and uh, you'll put those... Uh, well, see, there was another man. He just kamikaze in front of somebody. Well, this guy's backing up. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 
I'm wondering too, and it's very possible that this this mod here is not really set up. It's very possible this mod is not set. Oh, that guy's just gonna go straight. What the heck? It's very possible this mod was never set up for pro mods. And that's completely possible. Alright, so here we are guys, going to hit our port city here, so we're going to make left here, and the cool thing about pro mods is you actually get up and actually drive onto the ship yourself. It's a little confusing sometimes, but it's one of the coolest parts. What's up, Jimmy? What you got, man? Hey, it's, it's, it's probably the stream, man. It's just the stream trying to catch up with what's going on. Here we are. This is nice. Look at this. Uh, see, my stream number is going down. 